The National Cherry Blossom Festival The National Cherry Blossom Festival is a spring celebration in Washington, D.C. commemorating the March 27, 1912, gift of Japanese cherry trees from Mayor Yukio Ozaki of Tokyo City to the city of Washington, D.C. Mayor Ozaki gave the trees to enhance the growing friendship between the United States and Japan and also celebrate the continued close relationship between the two nations. Hi everyone, welcome back into my channel if you are new here, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. In today's video we are going to explore and learn the history of the National Cherry Blossom Festival in Washington DC. To further build on the growing goodwill between Japan and the U.S. based on the gifting of the cherry blossom trees in 1912, one of Prince Iesato Tokugawa's close friends and political allies Baron Aichi Shibusawa visited the U.S. in 1915. The 1915 photo illustration presented to the right presents Shibusawa attending a large banquet in New York City that was held in his honor. The host of this banquet is Dr. Jokichi Takamini, the successful Japanese-American community activist and businessman who first offered to purchase the cherry blossom trees and have this gift diplomatically come from the nation of Japan. Former President William Howard Taft is also in attendance at this event showing respect for Baron Chibusawa. It was President Taft and his wife who officially received the gift of the cherry blossom trees from the representatives of Japan three years earlier. In a ceremony on March 27, 1912, First Lady Helen Heron Taft and Viscountess Chinda, wife of the Japanese ambassador, planted the first two of these trees on the north bank of the Tidal Basin in West Potomac Park. At the end of the ceremony, the First Lady presented Viscountess Chinda with a bouquet of American Beauty Roses. These two trees still stand at the terminus of 17th Street Southwest, marked by a large plaque. By 1915, the United States government had responded with a gift of flowering dogwood trees to the people of Japan. But did you know? The original 1910 gift of 2,000 cherry trees from Tokyo had to be burned after they were discovered to be infested with agricultural pests and disease. The effort to bring cherry blossom trees to Washington, D.C., preceded the official planting by several decades. In 1885, Eliza Ruhama Sidmore returned from her first trip to Japan and approached the U.S. Army Superintendent of the Office of Public Buildings and Grounds with the idea of planting cherry trees along the reclaimed waterfront of the Potomac River. In 1906, David Fairchild imported 1,000 cherry trees from the Yokohama Nursery Company in Japan and planted them on his own property in Chevy Chase, Maryland. The Fairchilds were pleased with the results of their planting and in 1907 began promoting Japanese flowering cherry trees as an ideal tree to plant around avenues in the Washington area. On September 26, with the help of the Fairchilds' friends, the Chevy Chase Land Company ordered 300 Oriental cherry trees for the Chevy Chase area. In 1908, Fairchild donated cherry saplings to every D.C. school to plant on its school grounds in observance of Arbor Day. At an Arbor Day speech that Eliza Sidmore attended, Fairchild proposed that the Speedway, a now non-existing route around the D.C. Tidal Basin, be turned into a field of cherries. In 1909, Sidmore decided to raise the money to buy cherry trees and donate them to the district. As a matter largely of form, on April 5 she wrote a letter to First Lady Helen Heron Taft, wife of newly elected President Taft, informing her of her plans. Two days later, the First Lady responded. On April 13, Spencer Cosby, superintendent of the Office of Public Buildings and Grounds, purchased 90 cherry trees that were planted along the Potomac River from the Lincoln Memorial south toward East Potomac Park. 
It was subsequently discovered that the trees were of the cultivar Shirofugen, rather than the ordered Fugenzo. These trees had largely disappeared by the 21st century. On August 30, 1909, the Embassy of Japan in Washington, D.C., informed the U.S. Department of State that the city of Tokyo intended to donate 2,000 cherry trees to the United States to be planted along the Potomac. These trees arrived in Washington, D.C., on January 6, 1910. However, the inspection team from the Department of Agriculture, led by Flora Wamba Patterson, found that the trees were infested with insects and nematodes, concluding that the trees had to be destroyed to protect local growers. President Taft gave the order to burn the trees on January 28. Secretary of State Philander C. Knox wrote a letter expressing the regret of all involved to the Japanese ambassador. Takamini responded to the news with another donation for more trees, 3,020 in all, of a lineage taken from a famous group of trees along the Arakawa River in Tokyo and grafted onto stock from Atami, Hyogo Prefecture. On February 14, 1912, 3,020 cherry trees of 12 cultivars were shipped on board the Awamaru and arrived in DC via railcar from Seattle on March 26. The Art of Peace illustrated biography on Prince C.A. Sato Tokugawa presents much of this prior history and the behind-the-scenes political details surrounding this Japanese goodwill gesture which point strongly to Prince Tokugawa's pivotal role in the initial Japanese gifting and its evolution into the National Cherry Blossom Festival in 1935. But instead of taking credit, Prince Tokugawa humbly wished to have this gift be seen coming directly from Japan's capital city Tokyo to the U.S. The first Cherry Blossom Festival was held in late 1934 under joint sponsorship by numerous civic groups, and in 1935 it officially became a national annual event. The cherry trees had by this point become an established part of the nation's capital. In 1938, plans to cut down trees to clear ground for the Jefferson Memorial prompted a group of women to chain themselves together at the site in protest. A compromise was reached where more trees would be planted along the south side of the basin to frame the memorial. A cherry blossom pageant was begun in 1940. In 1937, the Garden Club of America commemorated the 25th anniversary of the Japanese gifting of cherry blossom trees to the U.S., by gifting 5,000 flowering trees and plants to Japan. Who better to receive this U.S. goodwill gift than Prince Tokugawa, who had played a pivotal role behind the scenes and had introduced the then mayor of Tokyo Ozaki to the U.S. leaders in Washington, D.C. In 1910, as part of gifting of those cherry blossom trees? It is revealing that in 1937, Prince Tokugawa accompanied by the current mayor of Tokyo are now the representatives of Japan in receiving this gift from the Garden Club of America at a ceremony held at Kiyozumi Park, Tokyo. On December 11, 1941, four trees were cut down. It is suspected that this was retaliation for the attack on Pearl Harbor by the Empire of Japan four days earlier, though this was never confirmed. In hopes of dissuading people from further attacks upon the trees during the war, they were referred to as Oriental Flowering Cherry Trees for the war's duration. Suspended during World War II, the festival resumed in 1947 with the support of the Washington, D.C., Board of Trade and the D.C. Commissioners. The Japanese ambassador gave a 300-year-old stone lantern to the city of Washington to commemorate the signing of the 1854 Japan-U.S. Treaty of Amity and Friendship by Commodore Matthew C. Perry. For a number of years, the lighting of this lantern formally opened the festival. Three years later, the president of the Pearl Company started by Mikimoto Kakichi donated the Mikimoto Pearl Crown. Containing more than two pounds, 
one kilogram, of gold and 1,585 pearls, the crown is used at the coronation of the festival queen at the Grand Ball. The next year, the mayor of Yokohama gifted a stone pagoda to the city to symbolize the spirit of friendship between the United States of America manifested in the Treaty of Peace, Amity and Commerce signed at Yokohama on March 31, 1854. The Japanese gave 3,800 more Yoshino trees in 1965, which were accepted by First Lady. Lady Bird Johnson. These trees were grown in the United States, and many were planted on the grounds of the Washington Monument. For the occasion, the First Lady and Ryuji Takeuchi, wife of the Japanese ambassador, reenacted the 1912 planting. In 1982, Japanese horticulturalists took cuttings from Yoshino trees in Washington, D.C. If you like this video let me in in the comment box below. Thank you for watching.